More than 100 handguns were stolen from a store in southwestern Michigan after the manager was held at gunpoint outside his home and forced to reveal how to turn off the alarm, authorities said Tuesday, all guns except one were recovered and two men were arrested Friday, a day after the brazen heist at Dunham Sports, U.S. Attorney Mark Totten said, just look at the firepower on this table, Jim Dare. Head of the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives in Michigan, told reporters, there's over $100,000 worth of guns here. My experience, these were headed to the streets. These were headed for quick sale, quick money, Dare said. At 2 a.m. on Friday, November 17th, the Benton Township Police Department received a 911 call from the store manager of Dunham Sports. He told the police that at approximately 9.55 p.m. on Thursday, November 16th, two unknown people approached him outside his Benton Harbor home, held him at gunpoint, then then blindfolded, handcuffed, and placed him in the back of his own car. The defendants then drove the manager to an unknown area and threatened the manager with a gun to his head until the manager disclosed the passcode for the security system at the sports store and told them how to access it. The manager explained that one of the subjects then left the area while the other subject continued to hold the manager against his will. My experience, these were headed to the streets. These were headed for quick sale, quick money. It's the holidays, it's the happy season, everybody needs money. Felons, uh, uh, mentally defective folks, illegal aliens, there, there, there's a whole...